Hello and welcome everyone. In this video I will be making this Warhammer Space Marines diorama. I will be covering all the steps to get to this finished result. I start the build with a board of multiplex. After adding some PVA glue, I then add a layer of high density foam on top of this. I'll then be adding a second board onto which I carved this random crater. Using a hobby blowtorch I remove some of the sharp edges and also made some areas of depth onto the board. Some leftover foam bits are then added for some variation in height. To represent some large rocks I'll be using this natural tree bark as well as a few pieces of driftwood. Using some modeling clay I smooth out the edges and then the pieces of bark are also added. This piece of bark didn't make the final cut as I've changed my mind a few times. When the clay had dried I used some wood filler on the sides and sanded it afterwards. To give the base a solid undercoat I've then added a layer of gesso primer. As the next step a layer of PVA is applied onto which some fine sand and tile grout are added. Some diluted burnt umber is then applied onto most of the base as an undercoat for further layers. The rocks are then given a layer of grey primer as this bonds a bit better on this material. Afterwards I gave them some more color by using some reddish brown tones. This is then followed by a light dry brush using burnt ochre. When this was done, we then crack on by using crackle paste. I purposely add it onto an uneven surface, as this will make the paste curl up slightly and create a more random effect. While this is drying, let's take a quick look at the miniatures I'll be using for this diorama. The main character will be this Warhammer Tyranid Moloch. 
I tried following the box art and painted it in the High Fleet Leviathan colors. To add some color variation to the mix, I've added a handful of these Space Smurfs. This was my first attempt at painting Space Marines, but luckily I could follow Scott the Miniature Maniac's Space Marine tutorials, which were really helpful. If you haven't seen those tutorials already, I'll place a link in the description of this video. As the next step, I've made a mixture of acrylic paste, paint and some fine sand. This will be used as the cement for the following ingredients I've selected. I've picked these lava stones because of their alien looking appearance, which will fit in nicely with the rest of the scenery. As a little hobby tip, you could also use them as a texture stamp for your miniature bases or when sculpting texture on terrain. After adding a layer of the paste mixture, the coarse stony materials are then added. Alongside these, I will also be adding some of these alien tentacles. I painted them in more or less the same colors as the Tyranid model. I found them on an Etsy store and they look so nice I just couldn't pass up on them. As the next step, I will be creating some textured rock surface out of this cork board. I've clipped some of the edges to give them a random shape. These leftover bits can come in handy if you want to create some small rocks or even ground cover. I've already used them a few times in previous tutorials. To make some bigger rocks, I then glue some of the pieces together. On these single pieces, I will then make a few cracks by breaking them for, let's say, 90 to 95%. After adding some PVA glue, they are then baptized in a bath of coarse sand. When the glue had dried, I then began painting them. I start with an undercoat of black, followed by a few red brown tones. To act as a pigment binder, I will be mixing burnt umber ink with some acrylic medium. In order to make them appear a bit less like burnt chicken nuggets, I will then be adding the Sardinian red earth onto them. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful pigment and I've read that it's actually found around Sardinia or southern France. When working with these dry pigments, it's always recommended to put on a dust cap and wear gloves as well. With this step done, I then proceeded coloring the base. The cracked earth is then given a layer of sandy brown, followed by a dry brush of brownie sand. 
I mean brown sand. The red pigment is then also dusted lightly on most of the base. To seal everything in, a layer of matte varnish is then added. I could then start working on the empty crater. I start by adding a bit of the acrylic paste mixture. On top of this I will be adding some of the leftover cork bits I mentioned earlier. It was then time to add the Tyranid miniature to the base. Before starting this build, I already knew that half of the model was getting buried basically, but I still decided to fully paint it. For me, it's just good practice as I hope to get better at miniature painting. I start with the smaller stones and then gradually build this up with the larger pieces. At this stage, the Space Marines were also added. I did some slight conversion work on some of them, and I've also added some light dust effects on the boots. To finish things up, I've then painted the sides with some acrylic black paint. That brings us towards the end of this video. I really hope you've enjoyed watching it and to welcome you in the next one. As always, thank you for watching and take care.